I like to play a lot of different games, and games all about speed aren't that common. Tireless, prepare for the adrenaline is all about going fast, and holy shit can you go fast in this game. This one is still in early access and will be released sometime next year. The game is split into 3 difficulties, over 6 levels so far. It seems like there should be 9, and also there are question marks, so probably even more than that. Easy is kind of slow, or slower, to get you into the game. Normal is fun and challenging, and then you have Speedrunner, which is very fast and hard. I am not good at these types of games not at all but I do enjoy them and I have had a blast playing this game so what do you do in this game you of course run you're supposed to make it from point A to B with checkpoints in between if you fall out of the map outside of running you can also slide to activate the boost pads and dodge underneath obstacles then you have a jump and you also have a thrust that gives you a speed boost and also get you through certain obstacles that are blocking the entire way. And then you can also drift for better movement on tight sections. I will say it's a lot in the beginning and it's going to take some time to get used to everything you can do in the game as everything going so fast and happening so fast. I played with a controller and I had to remap all the controls basically to the triggers and bumpers because you kind of have to aim your characters and you don't have time to press A, B, X or Y during the game. And after the remap, it worked really well. If you can get used to mouse and keyboard, I think that will be easier, but the game overall feels better with a controller, at least to me. I like that the game have dedicated buttons for respawning and restarting the map, making it easy to immediately get back into action or restart the map if you wanna do that. You really need to use everything to go fast because the time to beat on each stage is really hard. You get your three grades to aim for, and I'm assuming a leaderboard at some point in the future. Personally, I haven't grinded the maps enough for me to be really good at them, so I don't really have any good times on these maps yet. And as I said, I was kind of bad at the game. But you do need to play the maps a few times to know the optimal route, where the obstacles are, and where you can maximize your boost. The maps have a lot of different hazards. Most of the time you will jump between platforms, there are flying sections, and when they start combining things, it really gets crazy and difficult. The maps also vary a bit when you increase the difficulty, adding more obstacles instead of just increasing the speed. And these levels go hard and have some good variety amongst them, and definitely becomes harder and harder as you go through them. The music in the game goes hard as well, with a soundtrack that fits really well with this fast-paced game, and it doesn't get annoying at any point. You have a little bit of customization with the character where you can choose the colors for a different part of the outfit. But yeah, this is one of those games that does one thing really well and that's going fast while dodging a lot of things. It's a blast to play but it can be a bit frustrating when things doesn't really go your way. But yeah, check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!